if you're a CEO, a minister, a prime minister, a president, a general manager, a senior manager, and you want to be successful in your job, you need to have political intelligence. Political intelligence is fundamental to success in the business sector. It is fundamental to success in the public sector. Without political intelligence, it is highly unlikely that you can achieve outstanding success in any of these roles. In this episode and in future episodes, I'm going to go into much more detail into what it takes to become a politically intelligent business person, a politically intelligent public official. We're going to go into the different categories and discuss each of them in detail. Political intelligence requires that you develop the right character the character that fits or creates political intelligence. What does that mean? Political intelligence demands that you are sincere because how can people deal with you? How can you establish connections and relationships and alliances, partnerships, if people don't feel that you are sincere. So matters of integrity, credibility, honesty, truthfulness are fundamental and paramount. In fact, it would be foolish politically if you sacrifice any of those. If these descriptions are not part of your reputation and brand, Otherwise, how can you even succeed? So becoming sincere or being sincere or being perceived as a sincere person is key to political intelligence. Here we come to the issue of trust. Political intelligence requires that people trust you. And what does trust mean? Trust means that people who are dealing with you can safely predict that your behavior, your actions will be in line with their expectations. When they say, I trust this person, I trust the CEO, this minister, this prime minister, president, I trust this manager, this boss, this executive, it means that I can safely predict his behavior to be in line with what I expect. There are no surprises. Because trust is primarily is about predictability. And to become a, an astute politician, a smart politician, somebody with deep political intelligence, you need to develop that level of trust. Political intelligence requires that you are self-aware that you know your weaknesses, that you know your vulnerabilities, that you know your strengths. Why? So that you know how to use them. You know how to use your strengths so that you can fulfill your purpose. You can move things forward in a way that will achieve your objectives and targets. When you know your vulnerabilities, then you can safeguard against them or build mechanisms where your vulnerabilities will not impact what you're doing. Smart people do that. You have a weakness in certain domain, either you overcome that weakness as a politically intelligent person because you know that it will hurt you or you build in mechanisms where that weakness does not impact what you're trying to do anymore. Get somebody to help you in that domain. That requires intelligence. Politically intelligent people know how to differentiate between self and role. 
And these are completely different things. Because politically intelligent people understand that people will deal with them as per the role they're playing in these people's lives. And that their self, their inner being, who they really are from inside, is different from the multiple roles that they're playing. And this is an important survival mechanism because relationships are dynamics and they will go up and down. They will move from being, you know, partners, supporters and allies to enemies. And the consequences of that, and it might become bitter. So if you don't know how to differentiate between the role that you're playing and your core self from within you, then you become vulnerable. So political intelligence demands that you know that difference. Politically intelligent people know how to promote their reputation and their brand because they know the value of reputation and brand. They know how brand and reputation influences and determines relationships and opens door or closes doors. So being politically intelligent means that you have to master as the art of in a subtle way, in an elegant way, in an intelligent way, in an effective way that does not threaten other people, that does not create negative consequences or reactions, promote yourself, promote your brand, promote your agenda, and that's fair. How? By displaying your qualities, your successes. How? By displaying your virtues in a consistent way so that an, a, a brand is formed, a reputation is created. Politically intelligent people know how to honor their commitments so that they are dependable, so that people can rely on them. When they say something, they deliver because it's more than the task itself, it's more than the subject itself, it's about their reputation and their brand. Politically intelligent people know how to manage their own emotions. And this is where emotional intelligence becomes part of the game. Because you can't just, you know, be smart and let your emotions control you. You need to manage the way you handle all of, the, all of this energy that we call, you know, feelings and emotions. You need to express your feeling in a functional way that will promote and serve what you're trying to do rather than damage relationships and limit connections. Politically intelligent people know how to articulate very clearly to themselves and others the purpose of what they're trying to do so that others understand what matters to them and so that they can mobilize others in the service of this purpose. Politically intelligent people are ethical. I understand that in many aspects of our life, the word politics have developed negative connotations. But the truth of the matter is politically intelligent, underlying intelligent, people who are really intelligent perform and conduct themselves in an ethical way. Because if you don't do that, imagine the impact of your own reputation and your brand and your connections and your network and your relationships. So ethics is ultra important when it comes to conducting yourself as a smart politician. Polit the politically intelligent people are not about manipulation. They're not about shortcuts or lying or outsmarting people in a negative way. It's about being ethical. Politically intelligent people, they emit energy. They radiate enthusiasm. They know how to inject life in whatever they're doing so that they can mobilize. Because you can't have success with dead causes. You can't have a relationship with dead people, metaphorically, of course. So politically intelligent people are people who are passionate, enthusiastic, energetic, and they inject all this energy, passion, and enthusiasm into their relationships and into what they're doing. 
Political intelligence requires that a person develops the right character. And that includes being sincere, genuine, authentic, having integrity, credibility. It includes being self-aware so that you know who you are, your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses and strengths. It requires that you are aware of the differences between yourself and role so that you don't mix them. It demands that you promote your reputation and brand in an elegant, professional and subtle and dignified way. It asks that you establish trust with other people, that you honor commitment and you manage your emotions in a productive and fruitful way so that it serves your relationships. Politically intelligent people, it requ requires that you articulate your purpose clearly to yourself and to other people and that you remind yourself and others of this purpose all the time.